In this second part of our film, I want to show you how to operate the program using all the new functions we have built in here. First, let's look at how to navigate inside the program with the new zooming and scrolling commands. This is a longer passage of the guitar. To orientate yourself about what's on the track, use the sliders on the bottom or to the right side. Move these sliders, drag their borders or simply double-click them to zoom in on the whole track. With the blob magnifier in the bottom right corner, you increase the visibility of the blobs without changing their volume. You can also use different key commands for moving the displayed range of the track or for zooming in and out. This way it's fast and easy to focus on small details or on the whole track. OK, let's sum this up. We have prepared a little sheet with all the scrolling and zooming functions. You can read this in detail if you press pause now. And um, I go ahead now and show you how to play back what's inside Melodyne Editor. To play back your Melodyne part solo, use its own time ruler. Double click to start the solo playback. Set up a cycle independent from the cycle in your sequencer. A single click will stop again. You can also scrub through the file or simply click on single notes to hear them. This is pretty cool for controlling all edits you do to the notes. And finally, use the transport controls of your host sequencer to play back all tracks. Again, you can pause here to watch this sheet with all the playback options. They are the same in the plugin or in the standalone version, like basically all other uh, operation, operating techniques apart from loading and saving. Function just the same between both versions. Next, let's have a look at the selecting techniques. To select notes for editing, you simply click them. Shift click blobs for a multiple selection of notes or draw a rectangle. You can also use the tone ruler to the left side for selecting notes of the same pitch. You can do this throughout the song or you set up a cycle to only select notes within this range. This thing here we call snake selection. And there are a lot more selection options in the context menu like selecting all following notes or all notes at the same beat position. OK, we've listed the selection techniques on this little sheet again here. Uh, some of the selection options are accessed by the context menu, which you can open by right-clicking. Such a context menu is something we have built in at several spots in the user interface, and I want to give you some more examples for this here. For example, when you right-click on the tone ruler, this gives you options for selecting a specific scale. When you select semitone, a node will automatically snap to semitones when you move it. Hold down ALT to move the node without snap. In the background, Melodyne automatically offers you the scale that fits best to your audio file. Choose Scale Grid now to let notes snap only to pitches that fit to your song. And you can turn the recording into something completely new, like going from minor to major, simply by changing the scale, selecting all notes, and double-clicking them with the Pitch tool. Let's have a quick look at the other ruler as well. Right-clicking on the time ruler sets up a grid to make notes snap to certain timing positions when you stretch them or move them around. Again, holding ALT ignores the snap. Another usage of the context menu is to switch between the editing tools. 
To see these tools in action, watch our next film now where we explain how editing works with DNA technology.